right, here we are, Sue Online. We're here today with the Lone Wolf Robotics team. Hello there, and who do I have with me today? I'm Tia Brusiak. Hi, Tia. I'm Terry Brusiak. Hi, Terry. And uh, I'm Sean Smith. Hi, Sean. So today we're here at the Robotics Challenge, and why don't you tell me about your production here? This is your... Okay, so this is our robot. So, um, the game involves throwing stars and cubes over a fence. So, what we have is we have a large claw that we can use to grab large loads of game objects. Okay. And then we have a lift that we can use to lift and throw them over the fence. Okay. So tell me, the game involves, you said the game is involving a throwing of cubes, don't you say? Yes, stars and cubes. Stars and cubes, okay. And so how does that, um, how did you know about that? Like, how did you find out about the game itself? Like, well, what you'd have to design around? So, um, at the World Championships in this past April, they introduced the game for the next year. And so, okay. this year they introduced a game called Vex Starstruck, which is the one that this robot will be competing in. And then after that, they give you the game information and you can begin your build. Okay. And Tia, tell me about your involvement. You you shared that you've been doing this since September. Yeah, we've been working on this since September as a team. We're independent this year, but we've been working really hard for many months. All right, so who, how does the actual design start coming together? Brainstorming okay. and just lots of planning and trial and error. All right, and so you've been doing this on your weekends, on any spare time you have? Yeah. Wow, that's fabulous. All right, and how about you, sir? Tell right. me about your process. Uh, so, uh, so we started building in September, but like even like right when the game came out, we started brainstorming about different ideas and thinking about it and maybe sketching out some designs for them. Okay. Uh, so I, I do a lot of the strategy uh, during the game and uh, okay. thinking up some design ideas and helping with building during with the with the robot. Okay. With the robot and how long do you expect the the game to go? Like, so do they give you a time limit? Uh, yeah, so autonomous at the beginning is 15 seconds and then uh, the full game is 45, 45 seconds. Yeah. All right, and can someone share with me what does autonomous mean for the in, in relation to this? So there's the user control period, which is basically you controlling the robot using the joystick. And then at the beginning there's a 15 second autonomous period where you program the robot to act on its own, so autonomous. So what we have is we have sensors mounted throughout the robot that provide feedback on where the robot is and what it's doing. And so using those sensors, it follows a pre-programmed code, a little routine, to score game objects on its own, independent of driver control. Wow. So the, the actual process of robotics is involving computer coding and things like yes, that? Yes, a lot of coding. When it a lot of coding. Robot. Wow. And how did all of you get started in discovering this as a passion for yourselves? We got introduced to it when Cora started the robotics teams two years ago. I thought it would just be a great idea. I didn't really know much about it, but I thought may as well try it out, and now I love it. Yeah, great. And how about and, you? Uh, same thing. Uh, I got involved when Cora started doing the robotics. I had always been interested in computers and uh, model airplanes, so I thought this was just a great opportunity to combine both of those things. Great. Right, uh, so I joined last year, partway through the season, for Cora, and I was friends with Terry, and they needed another member to help them out. So I decided to come along, and I thought I brought a lot to the uh, team in terms of building and design, and uh, so I stuck with it this year too with them. Right. So it really is a collaboration. There's building and design. There's coding, and all the other there's things. There's also the design notebook. So we document everything we do, every change we make, and we submit it and a team of engineers look it over and we explain to them and discuss our design process. So I'm in charge of the notebook. Wow, that seems like that's a lot to take on. Yeah. So the, the engineers, where do you, is it a Canadian outfit? Um, it's just the Canadian engineers, like from near here. here. So affiliated with the competition? Yeah, but at okay. every competition they have engineers and other people to look at your notebook. Okay, and when does all this get started today? Um, so this got started really early this morning. We got here at 7.30. Uh, the first qualification match has started at 9, and the event should wrap up around 5 or 6 with the uh, playoffs. All right, and so when do the playoffs get started? Um, we're a little behind at the moment, but the playoffs should be starting probably around 2 o'clock. 
And so the high-ranking teams will choose other teams that they want to be in their alliance. Oh. And then those teams will play each other to determine who's the winner. Wow. Well, thank you very much. Good luck with everybody. So I'm assuming you guys are in the qualifying. You're, you've yes. gotten through. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, thanks for speaking with Sue online today. Good luck with everything today. Thank you. Thanks.